Hi everyone, um, so I'm back to do another Star Wars Battlefront 2 modding tutorial. This one's going to be pretty short, um, but it covers a very important topic that you'll need to know if you're going to be making a lot of custom content for uh, your Battlefront 2 mod, and that is the edit localization tool that comes with the mod tools. Uh, localization is essentially content that the game reads in order to generate names um, for units, buildings, weapons. Um, it's used for menu screens and for tool tips, help messages, objective text, that sort of thing. So there's not a whole lot to it. I'll go through and um, just explain the basics of what you'll need to know for just adding some of the most common items in. So if we're going to change the localization, we need to go to just data ABC, so your mod main folder, and there's a batch file here called edit localize. And all you have to do is double click that and it'll open up the language files multi-language tool, which allows us to edit localization. So localization is broken down into trees you can see we've got cheats, common entity, and so on. Each of these categories has a number of different subtrees, which are called scopes by the multi-language tool. So this is a scope, this is a scope. So if we open up, say, weapons, we can see that we've got a bunch of other scopes here. Anything that has a plus sign that you can open or close is called a scope. We've got um, the, some sides here. We have um, some worlds here for world-specific weapons. Um, so let's have a look at CIS, because this is our example map. We've added uh, Darth Maul in, and we've given him some uh, lightsabers. We've given him two individual lightsabers, and we've called them CIS Wep Inf. Uh, lightsaber alab I believe and so we'll go ahead and localize that because right now by default if you don't have localization for something in the game it just displays as the uh, ODF name for that weapon or for that unit I'm just gonna go into the CIS side and just double check what the name of that uh, weapon actually was so I don't mess it up and I'll explain why I'm doing this. So it's CIS WEP Lightsaber Ayla and then Ayla spelt incorrectly. So you may notice that we've got CIS scope and then in that and in all of these actually have the WEP scope and that corresponds with this here the name of the ODF CIS WEP and if I open that up you can see that I have all of these different options here. So these are not scopes because they aren't, you can't open and close them. These are called keys. So keys actually have text. You'll notice this is a scope. It doesn't have any text in it. If we look at, let's say, CIS Web Inf Wrist Rocket, you can see that it's got the name there, Wrist Rocket. So basically, the, you've got these three items that you can change here when you click on a key. The first one is the actual name of the item that will appear in game. The second is comments, and that's just if you want to make notes on um, a certain unit or um, weapon. These don't show up in game at all, they're just there for inside of this tool. And then you've got the language box here. I'll come back to that in just a second. But right now I want to create a new entry for CIS Web Lightsaber Alum. So to do that I would click on Web because this is the scope under which we want to create our new key. Let's we'll right click that and go add key. And now remember we've already got CIS as a scope, Web as a scope, so then we pick up where that trail leaves off, so we would go CIS WEP Lightsaber Ayla. 
and remember it's spelled incorrectly in the ODF name, so we need to spell it the same way here. Now if we click it, we can see that um, everything's blank. So we'll give it a name. We'll call this um, weapon, he's got two of them, so we'll call them Maul's Sabers. Okay. And we've, that's it, that's really all we need to do. We could save and close and go munge and they would be in game. But, and this is important, we have all these different languages here as well. So if I click on, say, German, you'll notice that gets grayed out up top and a new field appears here. So English is always edited up top, but other languages are localized down here. And I'm not too sure exactly why that is, but um, if I enter something in German, I'm just going to copy and paste Mall Savers into there. Um, and then go to French and its own individual box shows up. So now we've got German, French, and up here we've got just the English. Um, it's really important that you do this because if you don't localize for these other languages, then somebody who's playing the game in, say, Germany, if they have their installation options set to language German, they're not gonna be able to see this nice name that you've given for your unit or your weapon. Uh, one common mistake people make is to localize these and leave out UK English, which is important because I it, people in obviously in the UK or just in other English speaking parts of the world outside North America are going to have UK English for their setting, most likely. So we'll just paste this in here. Um, for something like Mall Sabres, it's pretty um, straightforward just to copy and paste it in. Uh, for something like an objective where you're telling somebody, okay, go destroy this item, you're going to want to either ask somebody in the community to translate for you, or, um, you know, a lot of times you can get away with using just Google Translate or something similar. Um, yeah, so there we go. We've got it entered for all our languages. So we can go ahead and save. And saving localization does take uh, a little while, usually about 10 to 15 seconds, so don't panic if it kind of freezes on you briefly. Just give it another couple seconds here. There it is. So it'll say saved English, saved French, German, Italian, etc. I'm just going to close this. And before I go ahead and munch that, I'm just going to open up the mod tool so that I can really quickly uh, just show you and remind you what Darth Maul's lightsabers looked like before we added that in. So right now you can see, barely, that the weapon name is CIS Wep Lightsaber Ayla because that's the ODF name. You can see it there again on the bottom left. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. Not too great. <clears throat> so if we want to apply our changes, we just go to Mod Tools Visual Munch and just munch common. A lot of people think you have to munch localize, but that's not true. You can just munch common and that'll be sufficient because you can see up there just a few seconds ago it actually did munge all the localized contents. Okay great so we're munged. I'm just gonna start the game up here and show you what it looks like after we've done that. Oops. Okay so we go to CIS and there you go mall savers. Mall savers. So that's really all you need to know um, about localizing stuff for your mod. I'll just go through and quickly um, 
explain a few of the other areas because weapons are kind of unique in that you've got the side and then this other scope called WEP. Um, you've also got um, the where is it entity scope. So this is units and vehicles. You could go to entity, um, maybe republic, and walk ATTE. So you can see it's localized here as just ATTE because that's what it's called. And it's got the French version and German version, Italian, Japanese, Spanish, and UK English. Mostly the same. Not sure what's up with the French one. Okay. So pretty much uh, this works the same way as the weapon one, except for that uh, there's no rep and then inf or rep vehicle. It's It just goes straight from rep to whatever you've got. So hero or infantry, hover, wep, walk. So you'll notice that there are a few wep keys in here and those are just um, ordnance for debt packs, remote droids, bombs, um, because those are entities that are placed in the world, because they're persistent entities. So you don't get that first, say, uh, a thermal detonator because it just gets thrown and then explodes. But since a debt pack sits there and can be targeted and shot at, and a remote droid can likewise be shot at and targeted, um, then those have to be included here. Otherwise, when you look at your, say, you make a custom recon droid. Uh, if you look at it in game, it's it's going to show up with the uh, ugly, you know, rep, wep, inf, remote droid, ordnance, name. Um, so that's an important one to to know. Entity is where you would find all of that. Um, game is where you would find things like tool tips, switch weapon modes, and it'll have the name of the button in there. Um, what else? There's level, common tips. This is where you would find loading screen tips. You can change these, you can delete them, you can add new ones. So that's level, common. Generally, uh, level is where you would find, uh, let's say, Coruscant, the campaign objectives, as well as the names for certain props that appear. <clears throat> uh, local sides are localized here. So the Jedi team that appears on the Coruscant map is named here. Level dot the name of the level dot the name of the local team is given that name. So that's pretty much all you need to know about localization at this point. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and ask on the GameToast.com forums. Uh, or if you have a really simple question, feel free to ask in the comments below the video. Thanks for watching.